saturated fat causes weight gain, cancer, and heart disease. Here's what they do to us. They raise cholesterol levels, increasing risk of vascular disease. Eating saturated fat is what causes the overproduction in your body of cholesterol, some of which will eventually clog up your arteries and kill you. It's that simple. I'm Matilda Steinaisedu. I come from Usu. I am a lecturer in public health nutrition and I work with University of Ghana, Department of Nutrition and Food Science. Since I started working as a nutritionist, we have seen an increase in especially um, diabetes as well as um, some cancers as well as uh, cardiovascular diseases, high blood pressure and uh, atherosclerosis. Yes, this has been due to the lifestyle changes, but I wouldn't link it specifically to consumption of palm oil. And when you come to the towns and cities, because of the globalization of market systems, we also have wide variety of vegetable oils. Now we have olive oil abundant, we have sunflower oil, soybean oil. From my perspective, I think since the West has interest, for example, in promoting soybean oil, that is why they tend to blacklist palm oil. But if you look at our part of the world, we don't have soybeans. I don't see why the West should be against palm oil because palm oil has some benefits to us and that has been, uh, I would say, a national asset. From this, um, the little knowledge that I have about um, diets, that palm oil natural sources con uh, contain some um, vitamin A, which is good for the eyes. When it comes to vitamin A in Ghana, we don't have the animal sources. Our main source is from our plant sources and palm oil and, and the palm fruit, if I should say, has been one big source or a major source of the carotenoid, which is a pro-vitamin A for us. And when we think of vitamin A as uh, a micronutrient of public health significance globally, it is a palm oil is available to us all year round it is affordable that everybody can afford so it is one strategy that we are encouraging our people to eat but then we eat in moderation how it is prepared and how it is used in the food systems is what matters i, I can recall my my dad uh, my late dad was very close to 60 years and he never touched uh, a lens yes he, he never needed a lens to read anything Yes, his eyes were as clear as anything else, and um, and then um, he's you can you can just um, decipher that his days um, they they were eating more palm oil than our days. Yeah. If we cast our mind back over the years, our grandparents, our grand great parents, they have lived longer using palm oil, and that hasn't been much of a problem. It has to do with the amount and of the various types of food that we are eating, which cast a, a, long, a, a huge profile of foods that are loaded with fat and not necessarily palm oil. Foods and beverages are being promoted by the, the West, which is seen as the best as opposed to our traditional foods. And I would say that has been the major source of the increasing non-communicable diseases that we are seeing. And of late, it is rather trans fat that is of, has been implicated in cholesterol and palm oil has not been implicated as such. It is only during processing that we get into margarine and so forth that we can have trans fat. But other, other than that, eating it as is in food preparation, not under high temperatures, palm oil is very good. My name is Florence Aosu. I came from Volta region, a town called Adaklu. Palm oil, you can derive soap from it. They use it to cook. They eat traditional food. They don't like uh, chemical food. They, grow, they farm themselves. 
then they harvest it they eat that one first you if you finish but you put it inside the pot you add water you cover it cover it then it will boil for some time if it's finished boiling you scatter it on the floor to become cool if it's a school you palm it with a, a pistol with mortar you palm it inside the mortar then you take it if you want to stir it you put it inside the bowl then you stir it with your hand you stir it then after you finish stirring it the oil comes to top you take the oil from the top of the water then you put it inside the pot again after the pot you put you put it on the fire to go then you use a sieve sieve to sieve it into the pot after you sieve it then you put it back into the pot then you put it on the fire again it will boil for some times if it's boil you stir it you can see that the water got finished inside then you put some salt inside you put the salt inside the a small water the salt will be it depends on the quantity of the palm nut that you are using then you put the salt inside the water then you stir it you stir it to be to dissolve inside the water then you put it inside the palm oil then it will raise after you finish raising it will come down again that will show you that the palm oil is ready you can take it from the fire Palm oil is good for me. If I take it, I don't fall sick like the other oil. It makes my eyes clear. I can see very well. But not a question of just saying that palm oil is bad. It contains vitamin A. And when you look at the fatty acid profile, it is not bad at all. And it's not consumed in isolation, usually in a mixture of food. So the digestion, absorption, does not make easily the saturated fat. My favorite food made with palm oil is a potom potom. You use yam to you cook yam, then you break the yam into pieces to become soft. Then you add the palm oil. Uh, second one is a okra soup. Oh, I really do not have any particular food as a favorite, but I prefer palava sauce, which is made from green leafy vegetables and then green plantains. I prefer that, and it is usually made with palm oil. So nothing can take my palm oil away. It is a matter of how much you eat and then how you eat it and how it is prepared that matters.